The Tibetan culture does not mean as a dress like a Tibetan dress, but the Tibetan culture is mainly so much influenced by Buddhist traditions. The way of life that the Tibetans have, uh, it's very unique. Being a Tibetan, uh, naturally you would want to preserve um, what heritage you're born into. But if you think about it, uh, Tibetan culture is one that is very rich, not just culturally, um, but if you look at it through the religious point of view and how everything came about. As His Holiness always, you know, during his teachings, um, mainly, you know, he says that you don't have to be a Buddhist, you know, but as long as you can practice compassion and love, um, that's the essence. I think there are many ways I try to preserve Tibetan culture in my everyday life. First being language. Uh, I think Tibetan language is something that's very important to me because it's very hard to speak Tibetan language outside of like a small enclosure because like in, in America there's not many opportunities where you can speak Tibetan language, right? So by participating in community events in our local Tibetan community here in Philadelphia, um, uh, by going to Tibetan Sunday School, I think uh, many kids are involved in that. Every Wednesday we try to celebrate, not celebrate actually, we try to do uh, Hagar. Um, it's uh, basically at least one one day a week, you know, um, speak Tibetan, eat Tibetan, wear Tibetan, and uh, you know, so that way at least if it is like even if it's once a week, uh, we try to you know cultivate that habit, and, you know, little by little uh, in our children and of course uh, grown ups to participate, and uh, that's uh, what we try to do. Fortunate, yeah, we're fortunate. I've been part of, since uh, high school, I've been part of uh, the dance and music troupe. And I think uh, that's also one of the very uh, colorful facets of the Tibetan culture. The most important is the basic, like, you know, read, write, and speak in your language. And it's always encouraged to keep your culture. To my kids, I always encourage to keep your culture and learn other culture too. That's how I see it. motivate me is to preserve my own or to inspire me most is that we don't have our own country and if we don't keep our identity definitely you know it, it might lose one day because everything changing so fast so we almost like less than a million people in exile have a huge responsibility to preserve <laughs> My name is Lopsan Tantan. Uh, I'm in charge of a, a Sunday school, Tibetan, uh, a Philadelphia Tibetan Sunday school. We have about uh, 25 kids. Uh, we have four classes. Uh, we start our classes at 10 o'clock in the morning at uh, 10.30 we do a prayers, prayer ceremony. Uh, and then from 10.30 we have uh, classes. is to preserve and promote our unique Tibetan culture. And for that, 
It's very important in our younger generation to bear them. But it's a very important role in preserving our culture because they are the future seeds of Tibet. That's the reason that uh, we, uh, our association, create this Sunday Tibetan school where we teach our younger generation, our uh, children, um, how to read, write Tibetan language, and um, we teach our culture, traditions, and uh, dances, etc. Thank you.